in this lecture, we're going to study how to make or construct correct structures of organic compounds. Now, uh, building the correct structures of organic compounds, that's probably one of the most important things about organic chemistry. If you, you must remember how to correctly construct an organic structure. Before moving on, we need to understand uh, uh, how many bonds are made by different elements. Now, in case of carbon, remember that carbon is in group 4 and if you remember atomic structure a little bit, you can go through the videos of atomic structure, you'll know that carbon makes, carbon is always going to make 4 bonds. There are certain inst instances where it's not going to be making 4 bonds and uh, that instance includes uh, one of that exception is graphite in which carbon is making 3 bonds and benzene in which carbon is making three bonds but uh, uh, let's leave that aside remember that carbon is going to make four bonds uh, the second most important element in organic structures is hydrogen remember it's always going to make it's just a, it, it only has one electron it's always going to share one electron it's always going to make one bond so it's going to make it makes one bond uh, then you have other elements as well uh, you have oxygen oxygen is in group six it has six outermost electrons and if you have six outermost electrons you need two electrons it's always going to share two electrons it's always going to make it's always going to make make a total of two bonds uh, then you have uh, nitrogen Nitrogen is in group 5 and it has 5 outermost electrons. It needs 3 electrons. It shares 3 electrons. So it's going to make It's going to make uh, it makes uh, 3 bonds And you have different halogens. Uh, let's call that X. You have uh, chlorine, bromine, iodine, etc. different halogens so uh, so halogens are in group 7 and they're always going to make they just need one electron so they always make one bond so uh, that's a brief list of different elements uh, and I've given you how many bonds there are made by different elements so we can now start off uh, and start making different structures based on this information. So let's say I make a, a simple structure. Let's start off with a simple structure. Uh, and I told you, uh, let, we, we are basically making random structures, random organic compounds. And I told you that there are millions of different kinds of organic compounds. So I'm just making random organic compounds. I'm only trying to get the structure correct. So let's say I have... Uh, this uh, this is a carbon compound and it has uh, carbon how many bonds are made by carbon carbon makes let me bring that into the picture so carbon is going to make uh, four bonds so let's say I it needs to have four bonds so there are four bonds and uh, there must be something else attached to it so carbon is going to make four bonds in total one two and three and four so let's put another hydrogen over there um, let me put an oxygen over here and let me put a nitrogen atom on the side. Now, the number of total number of bonds of carbon are now complete. Uh, we don't have, a, have any issues over here. Carbon is going to make four bonds. It's making four bonds. Uh, hydrogen uh, had to make how many bonds? It had to make, uh, it just needed one bond. It's making one bond. So hydrogen is uh, correctly drawn. This hydrogen is also going to make one bond. It's making one bond. So these three atoms and their bonding is correct. What about oxygen? Now that's uh, not correct. It's oxygen. Let's circle that with a red pen. Oxygen had to make how many bonds? It had to make, uh, it was supposed to make a total of two bonds. So right now, how many bonds are made by oxygen? It's making one bond over here and that's it it's supposed to make two bonds so let's make the second bond and the second bond let me draw 
the second born would be drawn and let's put an h over there now there's another problem this auction is now complete uh, there's nothing wrong with this auction now it's making two bonds one on the left hand side and one over here so that's a total of two bonds we now have a problem with this nitrogen it's only making it's only making one bond over here and how many bonds are supposed to be made by nitrogen nitrogen is supposed to make a total of three bonds so there are three bonds in total which are which nitrogen is going to make it's making one right now so let's make another one with hydrogen on this side and another one with chlorine on this side now nitrogen is making a total of three bonds it's making one bond over here one over here and one over here so that that's a total of three bonds uh and what about hydrogen this hydrogen is correct as well it's making one bond this hydrogen is also making one bond and this chlorine over here which is a halogen is also making one bond now all the bonding is correct so we've counted all the bonds uh, so this structure is now we can now consider this to be a, a correct structure. There are no issues with the structure. So uh, you need to do this every time you draw a structure. You need to count all the bonds. Carbon was supposed to draw make four bonds. It's making one, two, three, and four bonds. Oxygen was supposed to make how many bonds? It was supposed to make two bonds. It's making one and two. Nitrogen was supposed to make three bonds. It's making one over here, one over here, and one over here. And let's talk about hydrogen. Hydrogen was supposed to make one bond. It's making one bond, which is over here. This hydrogen was supposed to make one bond. It's making over here. It's one bond. This hydrogen was also supposed to make one bond. It's making that one bond over here. This hydrogen was supposed to make one bond. It's doing that. And this chlorine, which is a halogen, it also makes one bond. And it's doing that as well. So you can rewind the video and watch it again this is extremely important that you get this right so let's start off with the, another structure let's draw another random structure over here we have uh, carbon and there's another carbon and i'm putting uh, instead of a single bond i'm putting two bonds over there and it's bonded with the uh, nitrogen which is again further bonded with cl and this is bonded with uh, let's say oxygen and there are uh, and there's a uh, am i miss uh, let's uh, let's put another bromine over here now i'll start correcting this is an incomplete structure and it's probably incorrect we need to see if it's incorrect or not now this bromine over here we can start off with bromine how many bonds was bromine supposed to make? It's a halogen. And halogens make, they simply make one bond. So they're supposed to make one bond. It's doing that. So this bromine is correct. You don't need to do anything with this bromine. What about this carbon now? Now if you look at this carbon, it's making one bond over here and it's making two bonds on the right hand side. So that's a total of three bonds. But carbon was supposed to make how many bonds? It was supposed to make a total of four bonds. So there's one bond missing. So to correct the structure, I would need to bond make another bond of carbon. And uh, there should be another element over here. Let's put hydrogen over there. Now remember, it's easy to put hydrogen uh, everywhere because uh, hydrogen just makes one bond. So so your structure would automatically be complete. You don't need to actually make further bonds of hydrogen because it, it, this hydrogen was supposed to make one bond and it's doing that already let's look at this carbon now this carbon over here it's making one bond on the right hand side and there are two bonds on the left hand side so it's making a total of three bonds so again carbon was supposed to make four bonds so this carbon is drawn incorrectly it's supposed to have another bond somewhere so let's uh put uh, chlorine atom bond it with another chlorine atom if i do that the bonds of carbon are now complete it's making one over here one over here and two on the left hand side so that's a total of four bonds whereas if you look at chlorine chlorine was supposed to make uh, 
it's a halogen it's supposed to make one bond it's doing that so chlorine is correct as well let's look at this uh, nitrogen over here nitrogen is supposed to make it's supposed to make three bonds so it's doing that it's, it has one bond over here one over here and one over the, over here so that's a total of three bonds and we can look at uh, uh, this oxygen over here this oxygen is in is is supposed to make two bonds so it's not doing that it only has one bond over here so we can we can make another bond with hydrogen and this would complete the bonds of oxygen and we have uh, hydrogen over here its structure is correct it's supposed to make one bond it's doing that and you have chlorine over here which is a halogen it's supposed to make one bond and it's doing that I'm going to try and draw a few more uh, structures correctly and uh, I'll try and make them as complicated as possible. So let's say I have uh, I have a carbon atom and it's attached to another carbon atom which is attached to another carbon atom. It's attached to a nitrogen atom which is then attached to an oxygen atom and this is also attached to an oxygen atom there's a there's a chlorine atom over here now i'm going to let's say this is my basic structure and i'm going to try and draw and complete this structure now so uh, uh there's a problem with this carbon atom over here it only has how many bonds it has uh it only has one bond right now so it needs uh this carbon atom needs uh it needs let's circle it it needs three more bonds so let's say i make two bonds with oxygen so this carbon atom now has it has one bond over here and it has two bonds over here so it's a, it has a total of three bonds it still needs one more bond so the fourth bond can be made with uh, let's say i'm making it with bromine so bromine is in group seven it only needs to make one bond so it's making that one bond so the structure of bromine is correct oxygen had to make uh, it was supposed to make two bonds it's making those two bonds so oxygen is also correct so this part this entire part of the structure is correct all the bonds are complete if i look at this carbon over here now carbon is supposed to make four bonds it's making one bond over here one over here one on this side and one on this side so it's making four bonds so this carbon atom is correct uh, there's nothing wrong with this carbon atom but if you look if you look at this oxygen atom it's supposed to make uh, make two bonds i can one thing i can do is i can i can put a double bond over here now this oxygen atom is making two bonds but that is going to make the structure incorrect because this carbon atom would now be making one two three four and five bond which cannot which is uh, not possible so oxygen is supposed to have a single bond the second bond can be made somewhere else with the hydrogen atom now this oxygen atom is making uh, it's making uh, two bonds and this hydrogen atom was supposed to make one bond it's doing that so this is also correct let me circle the structures or atoms which have been drawn correctly and i'm coming to this carbon atom now this carbon atom is right now making just one bond so it's supposed to make a total of uh, four bonds so let's say i have i put a double bond with another oxygen atom so it's making how many bonds it's making uh, a total of three bonds one two and three whereas this oxygen atom is correctly drawn it's making a total of two bonds so let's put another hydrogen atom over here now this carbon atom is drawn correctly there's nothing wrong with this carbon atom so i can mark this as correctly drawn this oxygen atom is also correctly drawn whereas this hydrogen atom is also correctly drawn coming to this nitrogen this is also correctly drawn nitrogen was supposed to make how many bonds it was supposed to make three bonds that's one two and three if you look at this chlorine chlorine was supposed to make one bond it's making that and if you look at this oxygen oxygen was supposed to make how many bonds two bonds it's making one over here let's say it makes another with another chlorine atom now this oxygen atom is drawn correctly it's making a total of two bonds and this chlorine is also correct halogens make one bond so it's making that one bond so this structure is now drawn correctly similarly what i can do is i can uh, 
I can draw any uh, let's let's say I draw an incorrect structure and let's find out what is wrong with the structure so I have another carbon atom an oxygen atom a double bond oxygen over here and they are each and each and let's say I make a lot of bonds So I have uh, I have an H over here and a double bond o over here. So let's start connecting this structure now. The first thing is this carbon atom correctly drawn? So let's see whether this carbon atom is correctly drawn. Uh, it's making four bonds: one, two, and three and four. So this is correctly drawn. It's making four bonds. Is this oxygen atom correctly drawn? Oxygen was supposed to make two bonds. It's making those two bonds. This oxygen was also supposed to make two bonds, but it's only making one bond over here. So let's make another bond with another hydrogen atom. Let's come to this carbon atom. Carbon was supposed to make four bonds. It's, it's making three bonds with this nitrogen. That's three. The fourth is over here. So these f fifth and sixth bonds are redundant. It wasn't supposed to make those bonds. So let's uh, rub them off. So let me cut that out. So now this carbon is correctly drawn. It's making three bonds over here. And the fourth is made over here. So it's making four bonds in total. And we now look at uh, nitrogen over here. Nitrogen was supposed to make three bonds. It's making three bonds over here right now. So the structure should be complete. It, it isn't supposed to make any more bonds. So I think this entire structure should not be placed over here because, because the, the bonding of nitrogen is complete as it is. It cannot make further bonds. So this is a correct structure. And remember, I'm drawing these structures completely randomly. I'm just I'm just focusing on the correct number of bonds made by each element. So don't worry. There, there are many different possibilities. There are many different structures that can be made. Uh, so don't get confused with that. Just remember that carbon was supposed to make four bonds. Nitrogen was supposed to make three bonds. Oxygen had to make two bonds. And hydrogen had to make one bond.